I think there's an emotional connection with your bow because you spend so much time every day with it. If something is broken or damaged or loose, then you're gonna have a very rough day. It's definitely difficult to send your bow onto a plane, not getting to see it, not knowing it will be okay until you get to the other end, but you just have to package it as best you can, hope for the best on the other side, and trust that if something does go wrong, you can fix it. Before I go to a trip, I make sure that I pack my bow as best I can. I have some sleeves made for my bow and for my rods. They have a fleece lining on the inside and then neoprene on the outside, so they have a little bit of cushion. I remove everything from it that I can. Um, arrows go in a tube as well. Everything has a specific place in your bag so that it's all tightly packed but secure. After I pack my bags at home, obviously I take it to the airport. And now we We have to check in, weigh it, that we put it on the conveyor belt and we say goodbye to it until we get to the other side. I don't think you can completely know that your luggage is okay when you pick it up the other end until you shoot it. So a lot of that you're not going to see until you get to the practice field. I mark up my bows, so every screw, every hole gets a mark on it um, between normally like the screw and the riser or something that we know won't move. And we do that so that then if we do come to the other end and something, for example, is loose, we know exactly where it was. I bring everything. For one, the weather's really inconsistent, so you don't know what you're gonna get. You might need a different size clarifier if it starts raining or something like that, or the lighting's different. Um, equally, if it rains, you might need a cover for your scope, you might need your sun umbrella, you might need a rain umbrella, and then equally, you don't know how shooting's gonna go. You wanna make sure you have plenty of spare arrows, you wanna make sure you have a complete spare setup because if something is wrong, or if you're just not confident with your kit, you need to have that spare setup that you can then take and try and replace. If everything goes to plan, then it means that you see your bow and your equipment performing well, and you see it shooting how it was at home. It's important to be prepared because I think you should never leave anything out to chance. We need to eliminate those variables as much as possible. So the, the only thing we're relying on is us.